you love Lucy, but our next guest really loves Lucy. <laughs> Lucy Ball even called him her number one fan a few years back. Take a look. Hello, Mike. Hi. Uh, my question is... Mike is my number one fan. He looks pretty young for that. How do you qualify to be the number one fan? Yes, he's it's just cute, that's it's all. It's a lot of collecting. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Michael Stern joins us this morning. That is so awesome. How did you guys meet? Well, I met her at a filming of Curious Lucy um, at Universal Studios. Uh, it turned out that my mother's neighbor's next door neighbor's boss worked <laughs> on the Lucy show. And already at that time had scrapbooks of photos of Lucy. And um, I was able to get tickets to the show. So you meet her, she signs an autograph, and then... And she gave me a kiss oh. on the cheek. Really? Yeah. Yep. But it didn't end there. No. You know, I think it was like she thought I would meet her, and that was it. But it turned out I would see her over and over again. And finally, she took me to the side and said, Look, you could be my number one fan, but you better get a job. You better stay in school. So I did. If she says something, I did it. So I got a job working at the maid company in North Hollywood, and she actually came down to see if I was really working. I love all these old pictures of you guys. I mean, so you were really in that circle. You really knew her as a human being, not just as Lucille Ball, but as a human being. What was she like? Oh my gosh, she was just so wonderful. I mean, she was almost like a mother type person to me. Um, I always knew the difference between Lucille Ball the actress uh -huh. and Lucille Ball the person. and. Um, she would just take good care of me, you know, it's just we always talked about what was happening in the news today right. We never talked about I love Lucy and you know Desi or whatever we talked about what was going on in the world today a lot of comedians um, Kind of leave tragic lives behind the scenes, and, but that fuels their comedy. What was she like? Really? She was not a funny person, but she could do funny things um, mm. It's funny when she was doing a script she would do a scene over and over and over again just to get it right. Um, I was looking at the seltzer bottle. She literally would practice with it over and over again and how, how heavy it is. And it wasn't just a bottle. It had to be the bottle that was going to be in the scene that she would rehearse She's all the time. perfectionist. Absolutely. Um, so that's, yeah, she loved her props. She loved everything, you know, but she really taught me how to be a real person. She taught me how to grow up. And if I ever had an issue, a problem, and I would tell her, you know, this isn't working out right now, I'm having trouble in school or whatever, she would say, did you talk to your parents? I go, no. She goes, talk to your parents. Talk to your parents. And she really got me closer to my parents. She knew her boundaries. Oh, that's awesome. That's now, great. interesting that you stayed in show business. Yes. What's your job now? I'm the audience producer at the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> and You warm up the audience. Uh, basically. <laughs> but what happened is Lucille Ball and Desiree met Desi Arnaz met on stage 29 at Paramount Studios is where I work every single day. No way, really? So I oh walk, my gosh. I walk through the Lucille Full Ball circle. building. Yeah, I walk through the Lucille Ball building every day. I go through Lucy Park every day. Oh. And so there's a lot of Lucy at Paramount. What I love about this book is it really gives a, a chance for even the next generation to kind of get to know her in a whole new way because you see those reruns on TV now on cable and on, you know, it, you can still watch her shows. Oh, every day. Yeah. She's on about 20 times a day just in LA. <laughs> she's on. She's always on. The book is called I Had a Ball. If you're interested in getting it, where do you get that? Uh, you can go to my website, thelucyfan.com. And if you go to, if you, there's a coupon code, mm -hmm. KTLA5, and you get $5 off today. Five bucks free. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. All right. Thank good you so you much. Thank you. Have a good time. All right. Uh, let's check with Liberty. we got to check on the weather.